Oh boy, that last talk got pretty deep. I hope you enjoyed the talk about goal setting. That shit's really important, so I hope you listen. Let's see what's next. Uh, dire Dire Docs. Okay, let's do it. Dire Dire Docs shouldn't be too difficult. That should be a fun one. I love water-related levels. It's just, you know, not all water levels in video games are fun. This one is definitely fun. I, I love the water levels in this game. They're not frustrating. They're super enjoyable. And look how cool this wall is! It's so Stargate! Did everyone watch Stargate? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, movies in the 90s were so enjoyable, they were a little bit similar, like, to each other, but what decade isn't like that? Like, the 80s movies were similar to each other, 90s movies were similar to each other, that kind of thing. <laughs> but, I gotta say, the 90s was, uh, was such a great, such a great decade for movies. Uh, I have to say, like, probably one of my favorite movies of all time was, was Jurassic Park. What an amazing movie. It had good humor, great action, it was scary. The CGI still fucking holds up and it's been like a million years. <laughs> so, so it's, that's definitely an awesome movie. It holds up. If you guys have not seen the original Jurassic Park, fucking what are you even doing with your life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, just go see it. That's all I'm saying. It, 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 was, it was made during a time where, you know, movies with special effects like that, they just, they didn't look very good at all. <laughs> and, and it's just like, this came along and blew your brain. It scared children. It scared me. But like, the raptors in there are just nuts. They're not scary. Like, nothing like the pussies in Jurassic World. <laughs> they, they killed fuckers. It's <laughs> just how that works. I know they killed fuckers in that movie, but it was, it was nowhere near as scary as it was in Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, you'd see one's face and you had night- I definitely had nightmares. I definitely had nightmares about that shit. Without a doubt. Oh, there's three coin circles. There we go. See, the thing is, 100 coin missions can be very excruciating and challenging. You've seen the last three episodes, <laughs> so you know. But the water level, I don't know, they're, they're pretty chill. I'm having a chill time already. I'm enjoying myself. It's a, a nice change of pace. I, I like it when I go from exceedingly stressful to mega super chill. And there's no coins to get from, like, enemies in this one, so... Uh, so it's, it's, yeah, it's just nice. It's just a little hide-and-go-seek. Remember playing that shit when you were a kid? That was, like, my favorite game. But the thing is, like, I told you how woefully unprepared I was for <laughs> real life. I was still playing, I was still wanting to play hide-and-go-seek when I was, like, even, like, 16, 17. Like, it's, it's just how my brain was wired. I was just, I was, I was just a kid. Oh, this is not good. This is stressful. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, like, I would go to a friend's house, and my friends were in a band, and they were cool. I couldn't even call, I shouldn't even call them my friends. They weren't, they were very friendly to me. So, I would, I would go to their house, and they would sit there and be like, Oh, we're gonna practice. And I'm like, yo, how about we play hide and go seek instead of practicing instruments? That's not fun. <laughs> And they'd be like, yeah, sure, you go hide, we'll find you. And then I'd hide for two hours. And, of course, they're just doing their thing and just want to avoid the weird kid <laughs> that wanted to play hide go fucking seek So, I, you know, that's just how life works sometimes. Sometimes you're just different than other kids. Sometimes you fit in really well, sometimes you don't. You don't. I didn't really, I don't know. Like, I was, I was the funny kid when I was, uh, when I was uh, just a little child, and... I felt admiration when I would say something funny and like even the teacher would laugh. So it's like it's not only like I was I was a class clown, I was, but also apparently my humor was good enough so that even the teachers appreciated it. And of course if I were to if I were to tell you what I said to like teachers back then, there's no way it would be funny now. I mean, it was all contextual. Like uh, it was a Catholic private school, so we talked about we talked about religion and stuff. And there was a story about, I think his name was Saul from the Bible, and he fell off a horse when he was he was being too arrogant or something like that. I know I'm butchering the story, but please forgive me. Um, but, 
and a teacher once once noted that I was being a little too overconfident, and uh, he said, "You better watch off, watch out, or else you're gonna fall off your horse." And I said, "Then I won't buy a horse." And, and <laughs> I had him in the stitches over that, and it's like that shit's funny to like teachers in a student. And, and teaching environment, but <laughs> there's no way that's just funny nowadays. <laughs> but back then, it was, it was it meant the world to me when when a teacher would appreciate my humor. So oh, I was I was very pleased with myself. But I was also the sensitive kid. I was also that kid that if you said anything bad about, it, I was crying in a corner and I wouldn't eat that kind of thing. <laughs> just you know, I was just just. Just absolutely stereotypical, overly sensitive kid. Once my bus was like 15 minutes late, and I I was so stressed off, about, stressed out about that, I started crying in the middle of like in the middle of like 50 kids, and that is a bad idea <laughs> to cry in the middle of kids, because <laughs> then they know you're a pussy, and it's like everybody knew I was a complete pussy. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. A lot of that has shaped where I want to go with my life. Like I want to strengthen my emotional resolve and my. Uh, I want to. I want to be in a career where I, I can learn how to defend myself, that kind of thing. And not not in spite of them, but because it's nice doing something different, something you're not used to, stepping outside your comfort zone. That's important. All right, that was. Oh man, that was a lot less stressful. <laughs> Snowman's land. All right, where's. Is this, I think this. Oh yeah! I think we're completely done, except for like the secret stars with the bottom two levels. So let's go up, and then we're gonna have to do a lot of searching to find out. Oh, I'm not gonna be happy when I gotta do 100 coin on that one. We're doing we're doing them in order. <laughs> I'm doing the snowman land. Yeah, here we go. But yeah, stepping outside your comfort zone is is very critical at times. Because, I don't know, if you're doing the same thing day in and day out, you're, you're, you're probably having a very stagnated life. <laughs> I don't know, I can't say that, I'm just talking out my ass right now. <laughs> Alright, you purse fuck! Hit me, why don't you? There we go. Anyhow. Ugh, come here! There we go. I've been actually really looking forward to going back to work. I've been off because I have an agility test with the uh, sheriff's office tomorrow. So I took the day before off, not because like, not because like, like I have to prepare mentally. It's just I didn't want to injure myself at work <laughs> the day before an agility test. The problem is the agility tests with the sheriff's office are they're very difficult, unfortunately for me. Because I didn't prepare for for like being a flexible person <laughs> early in life. I was never very flexible, not at all. And there's a, there's a, a portion of that test that requires you to do what's called sit and reach tests, and that shit is very difficult for me because <laughs> I'm very inflexible. I have to I have to do a certain uh, I have to put my feet against something, you're sitting on the floor so gravity won't help you, and uh, you have to stretch your body. 13.5 13 inches is what I got, and I have to get to 16.5. So, you know, that's the thing. That's that's where it lies. Okay, you, you have a, an ultimate goal. To, I want to pass that test. I want to be able to pass it. Even if somehow like I never become a sheriff's officer, I want to be able to pass their tests. So, I, I have to set a goal for myself. I have to do that if I want to succeed. So what do I do? Uh, I find out first of all how to become more flexible. That's the first step. And then execute on a strategy to get more flexible. So that that took oh, god damn you purse fuck. You are a purse, right? You look like a purse. There we go. And uh, like my goal was I will do stretching exercises every day. And that became very easy to forget to do. <laughs> So, so I settled for, okay, at least every week when I get time, I will take care of that and I'll try to become more flexible by stretching. Because you can't do that overnight. Like, flexibility comes with time and, and effort. And sometimes I'm just very forgetful. <laughs> so, so, you do like stretching exercises and then you just try to touch your toes. And you do that every single day 
for like, apparently like if you do it every day for like 50 days, you'll eventually be able to touch your toes, and that, that, that's what I want. I want to be eventually able to touch my toes, because that would definitely mean that I've made, I've made the grade. Because 16.5, that's not even touching your toe, toes for a man of my stature, my age. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, come on. And uh, the reason why I say age is because that's that's where they pick the criteria for... You are just an ass. Why are you over here? Oh, what was that? Oh my god. This game is trolling me. Okay, come on. There we go. Right, just land where we go. I need the coins. Coin, coin. Alright, just two is fine. I think this one has enough coins for all of us. Unless I miss this. If I miss this, we're not we're not gonna be happy. Because you only get one chance to get up there. What is there? Why is there a thing there? An invisible wall. There we go. Oh no! That's terrible! How do I get up there now? Oh, this is not good. Alright, we're just gonna have to see if we can finish this without that. Come on. Ugh, there we go, okay. Just get to the top, and then maybe we can jump from the top or something. Give that a try. Anyhow, Sheriff's Office test. Gonna be hard tomorrow. I wanna say I'm looking forward to it. I'm not. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna make it. But that's okay, I'm just being honest with myself. It's not that I'm not determined enough. I'm fairly logistical about these things. I, I know I, I know I haven't improved enough, but I know that eventually I will. So what I'm gonna do this Jody test is see where I'm at. And, uh, and if I've improved, then that means I will eventually succeed. So I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. Oh, here's that cannon. How can you help me, cannon? Alright. Oh, there's probably no coins up there anymore. Okay, so maybe it's just shoot yourself over here and see what happens. Let's just see where this goes. Oh yeah, you can! You can just shoot yourself over there. I just should have aimed a little higher. Where am I right now? Oh my god. Okay, let's try to shoot again. Alright. Alright. There we go. Alright, so now let's get back to the cannon. Alright. There we go. Just shoot myself a little higher. I'll put some effort into it. Then we'll get on the turtle shell, which will help me get red coins. Alright, so... There and up. There we go. Oh, come on. That was just barely a miss. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, so ice levels. Oh my god, ice levels. There we go. Come on. Okay, get, get, getting over there, making it work. So maybe aim it just a little bit to the right this time. Let's take note of where we're shooting ourselves to. Okay, so I'm shooting just to the right of that, almost to the end of the fence, a little higher. There we go. That'll be... Oh, fuck! This is heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm gonna lose another peg. Damn it! Oh, I'm losing health. I'm gonna have to find damn coins in order to get health. At least we're doing this faster. Okay, so not so far to the right, but we, we, we measured last time, so... It, I shot myself right here it, last time. Yes, yeah, so I need to shoot a little more this way. Let's go a little up. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, no! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose more health! <sighs> eh. Oh wow, I didn't lose any health that time. Oh my god, I can't see where I'm going. Alright, let's try this shit again. Huh. Huh. I can't see. Damn it! Alright, conversation has gone a little stagnated. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I'm really determined to get this done. Come on. Okay, so what did we do? And where did we I don't remember where I landed. Alright, so I'll aim myself a little bit this way, and let's go just a little bit higher, like that, okay, come on, come on, oh my god, I am so not happy with how this world is working for me, oh, oh my, maybe it's not even like possible, but 
we gotta. I, I wanna know, so I'm gonna keep trying. Oh my god! Did you get so? Okay, that's one way to do it, or one way to skin a cat. <laughs> there we go. Speaking of which, I have two dogs, Shetland sheep dogs. I think I mentioned them before. Uh, maybe I should. Ugh, fuck. Ugh. Shot in the dark. There we go. Just whatever. Oh, I think this is designed, so you fucking can't do it. Oh, sucks. I hate you. I wish I were. I wish you were dead. I wish you were dead, Mario. Cause you're a piece of suck. You're a piece of suck. You're a piece of fuck. Oh, oh my God. All the way. All the way. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, damn it, I need health! Alright, let's go this way. I think I grabbed all the damn... Co okay, maybe you. Maybe you got coins for me. Bing! Yep. That's a little health, at least. There we go. There's two, there was three, but whatever. Yeah, here. Here you are. Come on. Come on, ass burglar. Come on. There we go, perfect. I know there's a lot of coins in the igloo, but the thing is, to get the igloo, I gotta get the damn turtle shell, and the turtle shell is only get from Thing, which just wants to be a sucky turd right now. They don't respawn apparently. Oh, there's got to be another way up there. How frustrating is this? I'm gonna try another cannon shot. Got to try another cannon shot. I don't want to get- No! There we go. Okay, let's try this shit again. <laughs> There's just got to be a way. If this doesn't work, then I'll just climb to the top and see what happens there. So let's just shoot ourselves right there, see if it works. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. You're such a little shit. Like, why would you design it like that? Why would you make it so it's impossible unless the one, the one guy, the one guy there lets you up? Oh, frustrating. Okay, and we're going the wrong way. This is just a little shit episode right here. This is a everything goes wrong with veg kind of episode. Everything. Fuck you, I already got the coins. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. What do we always say? Oh, well, I can't remember. Patience plus fuck is equal to shit. That's what I always say. Oh my god, I was gonna go up the thing. I wasn't. I keep going to the cannon. I'm just like my body's like it. It thinks I can do it. I can't do it, cannon. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Fuck! See? You see what you did? The answer's nothing. You didn't do anything. It's your useless shit. Piece of shit. Come on. Yes. Okay, just climb up. No more cannon. I'm done with you, cannon. I don't even have enough health if I land in the wrong way. This is not gonna work. But we're still gonna try it. Because it's fun to try new things. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun to try new things? Oh, 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 oh! Okay. Come here, you penguin fuck! Get tired of waiting. Alright, come on by. Oh, so, got two dogs. What, do you need dog tips now? Is that what you need? I'll tell you, if you ever get puppies, it's really damn smart to... Oh, there we go, good. To... Here's, here's a couple dog tips for you while we're while we're trying to figure out how the fuck we're gonna do this shit. It's too far away! Oh my god, it's too far away. It's way too far away. Oh. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Oh. 